Okay, so before I cool down, I wanted to chat with you guys about what I just went through. Too bad I can't go live. Um, so, I'm laying on my bench. <laughs> um, which is probably a really stupid idea to do before stretching. But anyways, um, today, struggle bus city for me. And it's very <laughs> abnormal for me to want to quit in the middle of a workout. And today I felt like that. I wanted to work out. Didn't start that way. It was just in the middle. It was like, ah, fuck it. And this is when I have noticed... Sorry. This is when I um, call, this is when what I call program ADD is starting to come into play. Um, where are we? At this moment, I think I'm two weeks in. Um, there have been three new workouts, thank God, because I'd probably really be losing focus. Um, it could be, I mean, honestly, my body is tired. I'm very, very sore. Turbo kick. Uh, I wasn't stupid enough to do turbo kick and core to force and insanity in one day, but still turbo kick in general, um, I forgot how hard it actually is. And my body I think is sore from that still, um, just from practicing it and everything. And But I still know when I'm over training and that's not what I've done. What's happening to me right now is legit program ADD. When I do a program I've done before, except for with Max, when it comes to the end of week two, it's like, mm, I'm ready for doing something else. So, thanks to doing the ultimate reset, honestly, I now know the difference between when my body is ready to um, quit and when my body is going, bitch, you ain't got no more left. Or And when it's my mind. So with the reset, because of, I guess, I don't know, the supplements, the way we were eating completely, but, you know, you literally don't have gas. I don't mean gas. I mean gas. And so when I would teach, my body legit would be like, no ma'am. It would just stop me. So today, what I was going through was this. This going, I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I didn't sleep enough, I ate popcorn last night. Honestly, y'all, you can when you're eating clean as crap and you put in something that ain't, yep, the body tells you. Um, on top of that, my brain is doing the squirrel thing and that's not been um, quite as bad since the reset. and. It gone away during the reset, but then it came back. But it's gotten better still than it was before. But today, like nothing. Granted, I am going through a few personal things, and and that kind of you know messes with your brain a little bit more. But again, it was my mind more than my body, and that takes. I'm just now recognizing that difference. Like I've always known your your mind can get in the way of course, during a worse workout, but when I had a time when it was really legit, my body, I, I really didn't know the difference. So I want you to think about that um, when you start saying in your head, I'm done, I can't do this anymore, I'm tired, I'm fat, I'm, my knees hurt, my back hurts. So like right now, I've got some achy knees. Do I have a knee injury? No, I just need to stretch and foam roll and a good rest day. My glutes are sore as shit, so that contributes to the knees. I have some soreness in this back um, kidney area from all the back kicks and side kicks. It, they're not injuries. And when you have been doing this a long time, you're able to distinguish the difference between mind and body. And so I just had to freaking silence the noise and get it in. Basically, I turned on, can you hear that? It's insanity soundtrack. Sometimes they're really good, sometimes they suck. This one in particular really was good. So I turned it on. Um, I don't recommend that for you if you're doing a program that you're not completely comfortable with form with. Uh, but me, you know, kickboxing's my thing. So just turn that shit on. And I went in. I still struggled. I still would just stop. Like it, my mind didn't even say stop. I would just all of a sudden stop. And my mind, I, bitch, go, go, go. And you just have to 
do that with yourself sometimes. I mean, that's just the way it is. Sometimes we have to have pep talks. So if you are redoing a program and that's where your brain is at right now, focus. Align yourself with your priorities, workout-wise, food-wise, water-wise, and life-wise. Usually, if our fitness and our nutrition falls off, it is because our life is falling apart in one way or another. And a lot of times, for example, you know, there are people that can't help that. There are people that have things going on that they can't help um, that is falling apart. And that's, you know, I'm not referring to people like that. I'm referring to people like me in the past with drinking or smoking or birthday parties and, you know, milestones. And all of a sudden you're partying your ass off and eating crystals and McDonald's and then wondering why the hell you look like a blimp. That's I'm talking about me type of stuff like that not not serious life things falling apart so get your mind right have a pep talk with yourself be your own coach man I can sit here and preach to you all day long about how you need to get up and stay motivated and stay committed and focus on your why and why did you even start and eat you did good today and you really didn't need that Snickers bar today you know all of that stuff but in reality, I'm not there with you. I tend to take what you guys report in that you ate as honesty, but I know there are people that are probably lying about what they ate because that's just the fact of the matter that we are here in technology. I'm not with you all day long. I can't see what you're putting in your face. You have to be your own coach. And when you're working out, I'm gonna use Dirty as an example. She's always telling me, she's like, I don't know what the difference is between when I'm by myself or when I'm with you, I just push harder. And it's like, I don't get it. I'm just, I'm just standing here. I mean, I get it if it was a group, but like as a personal trainer standpoint, I don't get it. And she does, she pushes her fucking ass off. I honestly, I'm just like, whoa. But anyway, um, I'm using her as an example. You gotta be your own coach. And if you're doing a program, that you feel like someone isn't speaking to you through the TV enough, then okay, time to find a different trainer. For example, Sean T, he speaks to me through a TV. Um, with that said, I hope you guys take this and listen to it and apply it because being your own coach in life, not just fitness and nutrition is key to success.